Well, this morning we welcome one of our council members, uh, Meredith Sossman, who is here to share a little bit about our leadership uh, and the nominations process. Thank you, Pastor. Less process, more asking you to join us. Pastor strategically did not share with me that Tyler would be speaking at the same services this morning because then I would have been so much calmer in the past week, I would have stood up and said what he said and <laughs> sat down. It would have been really quick. And Tyler is a celebrity in my house because he has been my daughter's VBS counselor for years. Um, and so every time she sees him, he's an inspiration to her, which, thank you. As trying to raise children of faith, it's, it's hard. And to show them a teenager of faith is enormous. And that got me thinking, seeing a teenager of faith, as we look at the first page, asking for us to volunteer to serve Calvary, um, if we don't do it, how will we be an example for more of our young people to step up and continue the congregation and their faith in God? And so when I started thinking about this probably last week and what I would say, I thought about our theme of listening to God this year. And I try to be good at it and I'm bad at it. And once in a while he gives me a solid kick and I keep saying, no, 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 I'll hear you this time and then I get a kick. And this week was no different. So I started praying and thinking, what should I say to inspire the congregation to join hands and volunteer to support Calvary? And uh, uh, something that happened to me a few years ago at work occurred to me almost immediately. And I dismissed it and thought, that's silly. It has nothing to do with anything. And I prayed every day. What am I going to say? And Friday, I woke up in a blind panic. What am I going to say? And this occurred to me again. And I thought, no, that's silly. So this morning, I woke up, and that's the first thing that popped into my head. So I thought, well, I guess I'm not listening again. And that's what I should share. And so here it is. I was working um, a few years ago, and I had a colleague, another woman, and there was, um, I don't want to say a competition between us, but we had two teams, and the results of the end of the year were always um, a little bit of a competition. And she was very vocal about her busyness all year, every time. And I, despite having the team that was turning out the better results, always felt less than, <laughs> always. And then about a year later, um, a couple years into this, they brought, the board brought in a, an executive coach to work with the entire group. And he and I were sitting in my office one day and he said, what, why do you worry about this? And I started telling him and none of it was really important. And he said, well, she does this thing, but you're not listening. If everything's important, nothing is. She elevates everything to this level of importance and urgency, but that cancels it out. And the next day I called pastor and said, you know, I'm so convinced that I don't have time to do things because I'm busy. But if everything's important, then nothing is. It's all the same, and I need to choose. And so I did. And half of me, while I was on the phone asking him about serving on council, was thinking, I must be out of my mind. I don't know if I have time. And to this day, I skid into some council meetings coming from elsewhere. But it has been a time of peace and renewal and faith every single time. And the meetings don't happen that often. And I have made connections. I would never otherwise have known. And so what I'll leave you with, and I, I'm hoping you guys will join me, is that at the last service when I said this, a, another council member crept up to me and said, when you spoke last year, I joined and I hadn't thought about it, but you're right. And I almost gave a shout out and then I thought maybe I shouldn't. So council members, I know some of you are out there, I see you, my colleagues. If you're feeling the need right now and they're waving quietly, if you feel like it was one of the best things you have done, and you feel that peace and camaraderie, would you show the congregation and stand for me? And I didn't place them. <laughs> Thanks, guys. So this is a renewing and beautiful experience. It doesn't take much time. Please look at the announcements and consider talking to us about coming on and helping and being a part of this um, smaller Calvary family to serve this congregation we love so much. Thank you. <laughs>